Um, yeah, this allows me to clarify where we stand um, as regards uh, the CVM um, and uh, the rule of law uh, mechanism, actually, the upcoming one. So um, as, you, as you rightly said, in the last CVM report of uh, October 2019, the Commission considered that the progress made by Bulgaria is sufficient to meet the commitments made at the time of Bulgaria's accession to the EU. Uh, at the same time, and that's also important to note, we made clear uh, that Bulgaria needs to ensure a continued implementation of the necessary reforms, notably relating to judicial independence and the fight against corruption. So this uh, position is, is well known and it has not changed. Of course, um, we also have, as I, as I just uh, mentioned, the upcoming new uh, rule of law report and the new rule of law mechanism, which will uh, give the commission the means to pursue work uh, with Bulgaria on necessary reforms. So the commission con will continue to follow closely the situation uh, in Bulgaria and report as for all member states in the upcoming rule of law report uh, at the end of this month. On the issue of um, with yeah, whom the, we cooperate when we are drawing up the report. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, indeed, um, of course, for the for the CVM reports that we have done in the past, there was uh, broad consultation uh, with many stakeholders, uh, of course, from uh, within the judicial system, uh, but also from civil society, um, which which have always been consulted. Uh, so this was always a uh, a quite complex process that uh, has led to these reports, which um, have always been um, well well informed. Um, and the same is actually true on the upcoming rule of law report, um, on which we have uh, consulted very broadly. There were uh, hundreds of uh, video uh, meetings uh, taking place of, of virtual country visits. Uh, because uh, physical country visits in, in, in spring were obviously uh, difficult. So uh, also, the, also the rule of law report that we are, we are now preparing has been broadly consulted um, with representatives uh, of the judiciary, of prosecution services, of civil society, um, NGOs. Um, so stay tuned for this report. Thank you, Christian. Catherine, I believe you have a follow-up. So can I just, just make sure that I've understood this? Um, the rule of law mechanism, th that's not going to be in place for quite some time. Um, the, the, the new mechanism and the new proposal, if I understand correctly, and does it replace the CVM process? And finally, if I may, uh, is there any way I mean, where organizations or people can pr proactively contact the Commission and make their views heard uh, uh, and their concerns about corruption um, in Bulgaria. Can, can I step in just there one second, Christian? Uh, I think we need to distinguish different things, Catherine. Um, I, I think I have understood that the rule of law mechanism that you're referring to is actually the rule of law the regulation on uh, the rule of law in the context of the negotiations taking place on the on the MFF. Um, and that indeed is um, one of the elements which is on the table um, in the ongoing discussions to finalize the forthcoming um, forthcoming forthcoming sorry multi-annual financial framework. But that is distinct from the first set of rule of law reports, which Christian was uh, mentioning. Uh, which uh, will be uh, presented uh, soon by the, uh, by the European uh, Commission. So we have different things, and none of this is linked directly to the CVM mechanism, which was the previous mechanism in place um, uh, uh, at the time of accession of Bulgaria and Romania. <clears throat> yes, indeed. So much going on in rule of law, one can easily uh, get confused. Indeed, as Eric said, what, what I was now referring to as a rule of law mechanism um, is the work that uh, starts basically with the rule of law report, 
which is the first time that the, that the European Commission is looking at the uh, rule of law uh, situation in all member states, um, and which will, which is thought to be, or, or where one of the very important goals is to create uh, a, a culture uh, of the rule of law and the dialogue on these issues. So there will also then be um, formalized also discussions with the member states um, on on the rule of law and on the and on the results. Um, I can maybe say a few more words about the rule of law report uh, to clarify this also. Um, it will focus on significant developments, both positive and negative, in four areas. The justice systems, the anti-corruption framework, media pluralism, and other institutional issues related to checks and balances. Where relevant, the report will also reflect recent developments with regards to emergency measures adopting during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And um, the report, as I just uh, alluded to, will serve as a basis to kickstart a general political debate on the rule of law between the member states in the Council, with the European Parliament, and at national level, such as national parliaments and civil society. Uh, so, so much for this. Uh, back to your question on Bulgaria. Again, as we said in the last report, Bulgaria has made sufficient progress to meet its uh, commitments and at the same time needs to ensure a continued implementation of necessary reforms. Uh, how does the, will this happen? The monitoring of the continued implementation of the reforms put in place by Bulgaria will need to be ensured by uh, the Post Monitoring Council, uh, which was set up uh, in Bulgaria. Uh, and in the meantime, the Commission has also been working uh, with Bulgaria, as I said, in the framework of the new rule of law mechanism, which will give the Commission the means to pursue work with Bulgaria on necessary reforms. Thank you very much. Uh, now, Catherine, you have asked a very important question uh, as to the means that are available to citizens if they have, um, if they have um, suspicions of, uh, of fraud or irregularities. Um, and I would like uh, to call Balash up to the podium to uh, give you some uh, insights into the mechanisms that exist on this. Balash. Uh, 